Yeah. 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 Bruce Lee once said, I don't fear the person who does a thousand and learns a thousand kicks. I fear the person who practice one kick a thousand times now along the entrepreneur journey and the self-help industry sometimes we get a lot of bs on the advice i do believe in believing in yourself i do believe in that but that is not the one core thing to be successful. You can believe in yourself as much as you want, but if you don't practice and work hard at your craft time and time again, as Bruce Lee says, he fears the person who does a thousand kicks ones practice one kick so to success it's about practicing you can believe in yourself as much as you want training let's say you go to the gym and you want to be a bodybuilder you can look at photographs of big bodybuilders and say to yourself affirmations time and time again and believe in yourself that you will become another Arnold Schwarzenegger or another Mr. Olympia. But if you don't go to the gym and train and practice, then no matter what belief you have in yourself, you're never going to be a uh, Mr. Olympia. And if you notice, all the successful champion sports people, every one of them at the top of the field, even let's say Ronaldo, the footballer, he still goes practicing and training, even though he's the top skilled footballer possibly in the world. He knows how to kick a ball. He knows the tactics about football then anything really he could learn anything else he's got it off to a t but he's got a practice and all professional sports people singers sports people every champion practice and train the train that is the secret to success you can believe in yourself as much as you want that is a psychological thing we're not on about that. As are you seeing me doing the kicks, it's the one kick what I'm practicing thousands of times. Get it perfect. Got to put in the practice and the training. That is the key to success. We can have all the psychology in the world, but if we're not practicing and training, you're not going to get anywhere, I'm afraid. It comes down to that. You've got to do the work. You've got to put in the work. No pain, no gain. In bodybuilding, the ones who gain massive and the ones who gain strength is the ones who do their la last two more reps, get that burnout. They don't give up. When it starts aching the muscles, 
They don't stop at that rep. They do two or three more reps to get that extra. No pain, no gain in there. And that's with life as well. You've got to put the practice in. You've got to train. You've got to work hard. You've got to keep focusing on that one specific area and become the best and the expert in that area to become a champion to become a winner that's how winners are made by practicing and even when they get to the top as i said they still practice snooker players champions they practice every day it's the person who's practicing while you're sleeping it's the person who's practicing while you're out partying. It's the person who's training and practice while you're watching meaningless television. That is the person who's going to be a champion. Not someone who does it just for a few days and then stop and then just do it for a few more days and kidding themselves that they're working hard when they're not. It's doing it. Over and over again, as Bruce Lee said, doesn't fear the person who does thousands of different kicks. He fears the one person who does one kick a thousand times. And that is what it's about. It comes down to that. There's no other way of becoming an expert, a champion at the best in your field. There's no bullshit here. And I found that along my entrepreneur journey. It's doing it. It's not the psychology behind it. The psychology is to do with your mind first, but then we've got to do it and practice and carry on doing it, making the mistakes and keep practicing at that one thing and become the best. And when you do practice that one thing, you are the best. The best. The simplest martial arts self-defense technique I found in martial arts, because I've done martial arts before when I was a young boy, became a black belt actually, um, and a sensei, a sensei. Um, but in self-defense, all this grabbing and th and twisting and you punch here, you kick there, you put your arm behind. Too many techniques don't work in self-defense. One technique, just practice one technique. If it's a kick to the shins, a low kick, you don't have to do Bruce, Bruce Lee spinning kicks and eye kicks in self-defense. No, just one kick straight to the chin powerful ah solid boom that will take your opponent down and practice it so it comes natural to you that's the only technique you'll think of when you get into trouble or a fight is boom straight away one kick boom one punch boom one technique that is the secret that's the secret to everything no bullshit in about all this business, you've got to do this, you've got to do this, believe in yourself, do this technique. No, it's about hard work, practicing and training. And if you don't do that, then you're not becoming a champion. You won't win, you won't be a winner. And it's as simple as that. It's not rocket science. Put in the work, whatever you're doing, when people are sleeping, you be working, you be training. When people are watching telly, you be studying, you be learning, listening to um, millionaires, listening and reading books and putting in the work and doing it as you're going along the journey and work hard. That's the secret. That's what I found and it's no bullshit, it's science, it's logic, it's logic. If you do repetitious, repetitious, 
over and over and over again. It's obvious your mind, your subconscious mind is going to become that. As Bruce Lee even says, become the water. Flow, become it. You become it. And then you don't have to think about it anymore because it is you because you've got it so built into yourself that if you do one martial art technique in a self-defense situation, you're just going to react. Boom. That's it. You don't know. You don't need any more techniques. Techniques, rubbish. Throw techniques out. Techniques are rubbish don't work in real life you just need one and it doesn't have to be fancy just a low kick to the shin don't have to be high kicks and spinning kicks to put an opponent down no same with business or anything in life train put in the work and keep practicing that's a bit of a rant there about that and uh, keep watching my videos Read me descriptions, I'll be putting a description, I'll put a description on this video about putting in the work and practicing and training. So that's the secret I found on this entrepreneur journey is by doing it. Do it. Do it. There's a video out which I saw um, and it goes on about that this person as this guru, I want to be the best at football. What can you advise me? And the guru said, just do it. Then someone else comes and says, I want to be a successful painter. Any advice, any techniques? He said, just do it. Then someone else come up and said, I want to be a nurse and a doctor. What do I do? He said, just do it, just do it, just do it. And that's what you do. You just do it. Practice, train it, become it. Practice every minute. Don't stop. Get it off perfect. Practice, work hard and train hard. That is the secret to success. And remember, guys, you take care of each other. Bye-bye.